Hello and welcome everyone to the channel Chess Final Zero. Is it possible really for White to win here? Like even he have extra rock and his rock can just go and take all your pawns. But White can win here. Although there is a small trick for Black here that you must uh, beware. But you will not see the trick until I show the solution. So can you find? How you can win here with white with the three pawns? Pause the video and try to find how. If you try to push the e pawn first as a first move, he will just play his rook to e1, attacking the pawn. And when you push the other one to promote to a queen, he will just take the pawn first. And you will promote to a queen, and you think you already win here, like you have extra pawn and you have a queen versus rock. But here, black have a trick, uh, and the only trick for black here is to play the rock to e8, sacrificing his rock. And I don't know if it is a great or brilliant move, but he sacrifices his rock here, and attacking your queen, like, and it is a checkmate. So you have only one move is to take the rock and right now it is a stalemate <laughs> you don't have any move with your king to go like you can't go here because of his queen you can't go to here uh, you can't go to g6 or you can't go here and if you decide to push the other pawn first he will he must play his rock to b1 to attack this pawn and you will push the other one to promote to a queen he will take the b7 pawn and you promote to a queen but don't think that when you play the rock here as a trick like this the previous one he will take and here it is not a stalemate because he can move his king and white will win here but he will do an, a different trick here with black he will play his rook to h7 check you, have, you play your king to g8 and his second trick here is sacrificing the rook from h8 let's say you take first it is a stalemate so the Second option, you don't take and play king f7, but you will lose your queen and it will be a draw. So, what is the only move for white here to win? Like, do you think it is moving the king? He will play his rook to f1. If you try to push this pawn, he will play rock b1 attacking the pawn and when you play e7 to promote to a queen he will take this and when you promote to a queen he will do the same idea of sacrificing the rock he can even play it here and it is a stalemate and if you push this pawn he will play his rock to e1 attacking the pawn you must defend it with king he will play his rook f1 check and if you return it will be a draw by protectual check so you must go to king e6 you will play his rook to e1 you move your king to d7 you will play his rook to d1 check you play your king to c6 and it is tricky here like if Black went back to e1, you can win with white, but black best move is to play rook c1 check. You will go back to king d7 because if you went to the left side, he will just take this pawn and then he can use his rook from e8 and take this pawn and he takes the other one with king and it will be a draw. So you must return back to defending this pawn and he will repeat check from here or from the other side if you went with your king so the only move for white here we saw all the moves the only move left is to play your pawn to h5 which is the only great move for white here to win 
Okay, so what black can do here? If he played his rock to e1 to attack this pawn, you will play b7 to promote this to a queen. If he played rook b1 to attack this one, he will just push the e7 pawn. And when you take, you will promote to a queen. And you don't have the same trick here because if you played rook h7 check and rook, you sacrifice a rook from h8, it will not be a stalemate because he will move his king to g5 and white wins here. And if you decide here to take the e6 pawn, he will promote to a queen. And if you think that when sacrificing the rook now to e8, double check. And when you take with queen, it is not a stalemate because he will move his king to g5 and white will win here. So the last move that black can do here is to take the pawn in h5 with rook. Now you will play either one of the two pawns to promote to a queen. He must play his rook to b5 to stop this one. And you push the other pawn to e7. He will take the b7 pawn and you promote to a queen and you win here with white. And if you think that maybe he plays his rook to h7 check, you will move your king. He plays rook g8 check. You move your king. Now he don't have any check with black. And your king is very near to his king. So it is very hard for black to draw here. And there's a rule here to win with white, uh, with queen versus a rook. Like what can you do with black? Like if you, if you kept your rook for example in g4 or uh, g5 now he will have for example queen e6 check and when you play your rook to g6 um, he plays for example queen e3 check moved your king here is a checkmate in 3 and if you moved your rook to g5 it will be a checkmate in 3 so the only move is to play your king to h5 and you play your king to f7. Now black is completely surrounded. Let's say he wants to protect his rook from g4. And you move your king again near to his king. Like he don't have any move, only rook check. Now you play your king to f5. He can't play his rook to g5 check now. So, for example, he will, and you are threatening checkmate from here. So he must play his rook here. And now it is a checkmate in four moves for white. You will play your queen to f3, pinning this rook. He will move his king to protect. If he moved his king here, checkmate in one move. So right now, when you pin this rock, he must move his king here. And you take his rock, and it is a checkmate. If you enjoyed this puzzle, like the video. If you want to watch the previous hard puzzle, click on the left. Thank you for watching.